we made it. What do you want for dinner? Hi, I'm Cherie with enjoythejourney.life. Our channel is all about RV living full time. And that's right now. Not waiting for five or 10 years down the road. We encourage you to do it right now. So this video is gonna be about what I've learned in my first year of RV living. That's right, this is my one year anniversary or my one year birthday of living in the RV. another video I did at six months which I'll link to up here or up here that way you can check it out of the things that I learned the first six months of RV living and I have a different list today the first thing I have to say is I get a lot of feedback from people and they tell me oh girl you're living my dream or you're living the life and you're doing it right and you know what I agree with them I am living the life and I'm so grateful for it I get to go on so many adventures and have so much fun we get to see so many beautiful places I get to go cut kayaking, whitewater rafting, I've been zip lining, I've been rappelling, I've been four wheel driving on high mountain tops, and it has been a wild ride. So yes, I do feel like I'm living the life, and I want others to do the same. I want everybody else to be able to enjoy life the way I'm able to enjoy life. One thing I've learned since my first six month video that I did is that boondocking isn't really as bad as I thought it would be. I thought, oh, I'm not gonna be able to shower, but we actually use Planet Fitness for showers when we're boondocking. I've learned how to wash dishes, how to conserve water, washing your hands quickly, and and it's become so habitual now that it's really not a big deal. We have a generator that we turn on for cooking, for using different appliances like making coffee. Hey sweetie, can you turn the generator on? Sure. We also charge all of our electronics, like our laptops and our phone, when the generator's turned on. We'll turn the switch on, and then we'll run and go make sure everything is plugged in. That way, everything's getting a charge when that generator is on, because we are actually boondocking at this moment in this beautiful spot. It is so amazing. There's mountains back there and beautiful water, and we are right on the water. Our RV is actually backed up right now to this water spot right here. You can't see it because of the trees, but it is over there, and we have this beautiful view. And one of the great things about boondocking is you can do it with a beautiful view, and it's only $5 a night where we are right now. So you save a lot of money. There's a lot of great things about it. One of my least favorite things about the RV life are bugs and mice. <laughs> That's not a fun part. We've actually caught a couple of mice in the RV. Uh, we would hear him like crunching on our food in a drawer. So we set a humane live trap and took him miles and miles and miles away to let him go to make sure he didn't come back because we didn't want him to come back. They work great. Here is what I found this morning. He's right there hiding. Oh, he's oh hi. 
If they weren't so disgusting, I'd say he's so cute. Oh, Shree probably thinks it's the same mouse. We, <laughs> we. I think he's been he he hitched a ride with us. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh. Yeah, run. Yeah, oh, there you go. We've also had some issues with moths, uh, spiders, ants. It's always like they come at different times and we take it head on when we have that problem and deal with it when we do. Got big, medium, small is flying around. Look up there. What? Oh. Those are those little lake flies that keep coming in. Oh. But is that really that much different than living in a sticks and bricks home? Maybe a little. You do have pests in homes. Maybe we have a little bit more with the RV life. So that is one truth that a lot of people don't know. And de-stressing is actually a process. It's not like you think, oh, I just want to go RVing and adventuring. It'll be stress-free. And you jump on board and all your stress melts away. It's not like that. Actually, de-stressing is kind of a process. Process. And when you jump on board an RV, it doesn't mean you're going to be completely without things that cause stress. There's a lot of maintenance issues. I still do laundry and cook and clean and wash dishes. We still work a lot. So there are a lot of things that are that still could be considered stressful, but we do get to work looking at an amazing view or we use our hammock to relax or we go on adventures. So it's a great balance type of life. I had a viewer ask me, her name is Susan. Hi Susan, thank you for your question. Do you forget what day of the week it is? And my answer is yes. And that was kind of an aha moment because I, I do sometimes say, is today Tuesday or Wednesday? I do forget what day of the week it is sometimes. We don't work a normal Monday through Friday, nine to five schedule, and we don't do anything specific on weekends. Our day to day is always different, and we don't have any such schedule with what we do. So yes, I do forget what day of the week it is sometimes. Something that I didn't expect was after we travel, you go in to the RV and you're not thinking about it and you open a cabinet and all of a sudden everything comes tumbling down on you. Things are not stable in cabinets and drawers and in the refrigerator. I've had things when I open up the refrigerator and things just start falling out all over the place. It's some, oh, in the bathroom cabinet it happens there too. So I've started to slowly learn that after travel days, open up slowly, peek inside to see if anything's gonna fall out and just try to catch it as it falls out. And on that topic, after being in the heat, sometimes our products will build up pressure on the inside of them and you'll open it and it will explode. I've had makeup explode, body products explode, things out of the pantry have exploded. It's really interesting, I'm not, I'm not used to that. It's something very different about the RV life. I think it's the heat and the pressure, the changes of elevation that causes that. But yes, that's something I've had to learn to deal with. I've learned to cook more simply. We do have a full-size kitchen and a full-size refrigerator, oven, stove, convection oven, instant pot. I have everything I need to cook amazing meals. But I find that I want to live more simply and we started cooking more simply and eating more more simply and it's really simplified our lives we still eat really good food so it's really worked out nicely speaking of the refrigerator it's a great refrigerator but it's an RV refrigerator and it does behave differently than your home refrigerator things that you put in your freezer get freezer burn so fast sometimes things will only be in there for a short while and I'll pull it out thinking it's gonna be fine but then there'll be ice crystals all over everything so we do try to use up things in the freezer fast another thing I've learned is that although you have maintenance in your regular home, RVs have maintenance as well, but in my opinion, they have a lot more maintenance. So don't think that if you move into an RV that, oh, I'm not gonna have to mow the yard anymore. I'm not gonna have to do this or that. There, it's an exchange of different issues. So you're still gonna have maintenance and a lot of it. Your home is going through pretty much like an earthquake when it travels down the road and for hours. Something I've learned is that eye masks 
and earplugs are your friends. When you stay at these RV parks or other campgrounds, you're gonna have people pulling in late at night and setting up. You're gonna have people leaving early in the morning. There's kids, there's dogs. Right here, there's boats. And people fishing and talking. They're sometimes partying at night. So if you wanna get your sleep, definitely get an eye mask and earplugs good earplugs. One great thing about RV living full time is the people that you meet. You're not going to a typical job five days a week, being around the same people all day long, and then going home to your family, being around the same people. Yes, of course you have your friends and your family nearby, but this really kind of encourages you to get out and meet new people all the time. Your social skills become so refined because you get really good at meeting people and not being insecure about meeting new people. It's easier to strike up conversations. And you know what? We have met some of the greatest people and I love to hear their stories. We recently just had a great neighbor at our campground where we are right now. And when he started telling us his story, I got tears in my eyes. It was so moving and I really appreciate hearing other people's stories. Everybody has a story and it's a great way to connect with people. One thing I'm realizing is that after a year I am starting to miss family that's far away. I do know that we will be on the move and I'll be seeing them soon. But yes, that is one thing that I I do miss my family. So before RVing I wasn't a huge fan of Cracker Barrel or Walmart. But now that I'm RVing full time, I love Walmart and Cracker Barrel. When we're traveling in between places and we've been traveling a long day and we're tired and we just need a place to stay overnight and we don't have anything planned because you don't know where you're gonna end up, there's always a Walmart and usually a Cracker Barrel. And it's always such a great relief to come across one when you're tired and you're ready to turn in for the night. They're awesome for letting you park overnight for free and plus you can pick up your supplies if you need them. One thing I love is we get to travel extensively and I don't have to pack one suitcase. It's awesome. And not only that, we get to go see all these amazing places and I get to go home and sleep in my own bed at night. One great thing about living full time in an RV is that you get to plan your vacation and actually do it soon after. You plan all year long for that two week vacation and then you're back to work again. This is the great thing about this lifestyle is that you actually get to plan your trips and then go on it and then you're planning your next one already. It's like constant planning and constant adventuring and it's so much fun. And finally, it has just finally hit me that this RV is my home. For a while, I felt like, oh, this is fun, adventuring, vacationing, and then always there's always something inside me that said, okay, when are you going home? And it's just now hitting me that this is my home, and it feels like home, and I love my home. Thank you so much for watching my video and watching all of our videos. We really appreciate it. And I'm going to leave links to all of our products down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Tell me what you think about all these things that I've learned in the first year. Wish me a happy anniversary or anniversary or birthday, however you would look at that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. See you in the next video. So I just made this little Yellowstone lava mud pot cake. Yummy. It's going to be so good. It's got a dollop of peanut butter in it. It's so easy to make. It's only a few ingredients. It's a great little boondocking dessert for one. So we're going to celebrate my one year being in the RV. Happy birthday, birthday to, to me. Hey! Happy RV anniversary to Sheree. I have this one hair that won't stop. <laughs> <laughs>
on my foot. <laughs> oh, you're standing in a trail of them right there. Oh. Yeah, they're tickly. Do you want to adjust slightly? Yes. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed, what was I going to say? I'm going to come to your house and beat you up. Ah! If you haven't subscribed. Do I have any green tea in my tea? I don't see any. <laughs> Like a body of water